Hello again. I thought we would take a look at the insanity of RCA's release policy 1955-1956. Uh, now I don't have any original Sun releases from 1954. On the 9th of May 1955 Sun released Baby Let's Play House uh, and left your right she's gone. So this is an original Sun 45 and it does have the push pins and on the 1st of August they released Mystery Train so this is of course 78 again an original but I forgot to, um, to forget now the sleeve isn't original at the time it would have been released in a plain brown paper sleeve. Then of course RCA acquired Elvis's contract and all his Sun recordings. And on the 2nd of December they released their own copy of Mystery Train. I forgot to remember to forget. And then over the next couple of weeks they released all the other Sun singles. That's alright. Blue Moon of Kentucky. I don't care if the sun don't shine good rocking tonight. Milk Cow Blues Boogie. You're a heartbreaker. And baby, let's play house. And left your right, she's gone. Now these are 1955 releases. And yet they fetch a fraction of what the original Sun recordings released. So if you think you can never afford a Sun recording, look for one of these. So RCA released five singles in a month. That was a hint of what was to come. 1956 was insane. Grab these and yeah. serve. On the 27th of January, they released Heartbreak Hotel. Right with I was the one. On the 23rd of March came the EP Elvis Presley. So this was released before the album, EPA 747. Blue suede shoes, tutti frutti, I got a woman just because. Also on the 23rd of March they released this special two disc EP, EPB 1254. Do sway choose, I'm counting on you, I got a woman, one-sided love affair, tutti frutti, trying to get to you, I'm going to sit right down and cry over you, I'll never let you go. Gatefold sleeve, The two discs are in this separate packet. <clears throat> also on the 23rd of March came the album. Now this is of course a later pressing. I don't yet have an original American pressing. Blue suede shoes, I'm counting on you, I got a woman, one-sided love affair, I love you because, just because, tutti frutti, trying to get to you, I'm going to sit right down and cry, I'll never let you go, blue moon, money honey. But then shortly after... In the EP Heartbreak Hotel.
Heartbreak Hotel, I was the one. Money, honey, I forgot to remember to forget. I may have that in the wrong order. That may have been released just before the album, come to think of it. On the 4th of May. The single I Want You, I Need You, I Love You. My Baby Left Me. On the 8th of June. The EP Elvis Presley, Shake, Rock and Roll, Blue Moon, I Love You Because, Lordy Miss Claudy. On the 13th of July, the single Hound Dog, Don't Be Cruel. So this was the first single released with a picture sleeve. On the 17th of August, The Real Elvis, EPA 940. Don't be cruel, I want you, I need you, I love you, hound dog, my baby left me. Then on the 31st of August, RCA did something very bizarre. They released seven singles on one day. And they basically mopped up all the remaining tracks from the album. So, One Sided Love Affair, Money Honey. I'm going to sit right down and cry over you. I'll never let you go, little darling. Just because. Blue Moon. I'm counting on you. I got a woman. Lordy Miss Claudy. Shake, rattle and roll. Blue suede shoes, tutti frutti. <clears throat> I love you because trying to get to you. Now, of course, the effect of releasing seven singles was that none of them charted apart from Blue Suede Shoes, which I think made number 20. I think this denied Elvis at least a couple of number one singles. Um, apparently the seven singles together sold 1.6 million copies. But of course in the chart history they don't show. So it's a strange decision. On the 5th of September they released the EP Any Way You Want Me. So this contains Anywhere You Want Me, I'm Left You Right, She's Gone, I Don't Care If The Sun Don't Shine, and Mystery Train. On the 14th of September came the single Love Me Tender, backed with Anywhere You Want Me. Now this was available in three different shades of sleeve. So you have this little pink tint there, a much darker pink tint there, and there's a green which I don't yet have. On the 19th of October, okay, well this is second album, a 
again this is a later release I don't have an original American one yet rip it up love me when my blue moon turns to gold again long till Sally first in line paralyzed so glad you're mine old Shep ready Teddy any place is paradise how's the world treating you how do you think I feel but they still weren't done also on the 19th of October came Elvis volume 1 EPA 992 and what they did was put rip it up when my blooming turns to gold again love me and paralyzed on an EP and then shortly after they released volume 2 gave us so glad you're mine ready teddy old Shep and any place is paradise and on the 21st of November they released the love me tender EP love me tender let me poor boy we're gonna move so that was all in 1956 now when you consider today an artist will take years to record an album they'll release it and then they'll spend years promoting it touring it and recording the next album now the effect of this is if you want to buy their album you've got to buy the album there might be a few singles but if you want the album you've got to buy it by having multiple releases like this in one year it diluted the sales yes they sold a lot but if you wanted his first album you didn't have to buy it you could buy EPs and singles so this has had an effect Elvis's record sales are phenomenal but I think it's led to them being underestimated in my opinion so um, I think RCA overdid it by quite a bit in 1956 um, I might carry this on and do the next 1957 next we'll see how it goes so hopefully that was uh, interesting till next time bye for now